Five beautiful examples of symmetry in nature. Number 5. Romanesco Broccoli. You may have passed by Romanesco Broccoli in the grocery store and assumed, because of its unusual appearance, that it was some type of genetically modified food. But it's actually just one of the many instances of fractal symmetry in nature albeit a striking one. In geometry, a fractal is a complex pattern where each part of a thing has the same geometric pattern as the whole. So with Romansco broccoli, each floor presents the same logarithmic spiral as the whole head. Essentially, the entire veggie is one big spiral composed of smaller, con-like buds that are also many spirals. Incidentally, Romanesco is related to both broccoli and cauliflower, although its taste and consistency are more similar to cauliflower. It's also rich in croids and vitamin C and K, which means that it makes both a healthy and mathematically beautiful addition to our meals. Number 4. Honeycomb Not only are bees stellar honey producers, it seems they also have a knack for geometry. For thousands of years, Humans have marveled at the perfect hexagonal figures in honeycombs and wondered how bees can instinctively create a shape humans can only reproduce with a ruler and compass. The honeycomb is a case of wallpaper symmetry, where a repeated pattern covers a plane, for example a tiled floor or a mosaic. How and why do bees have a hankering for hexagons? Well, mathematicians believe that it is the perfect shape to allow bees to store the largest possible amount of honey while using the least amount of wax other shapes like circles for instance would leave a gap between the cells since they don't fit together exactly other observers who have less faith in the ingenuity of bees think the hexagons form by accident in other words the bees simply make circular cells and the wax naturally collapses into the form of a hexagon Either way, it's all a product of nature, and it's pretty darn impressive. Number 3 Flowers Sunflowers boast radial symmetry and an interesting type of numerical symmetry known as the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 24, 55, 89, 144, and so on. Each number is determined by adding the two preceding numbers together. If we took the time to count the number of seed spirals in a sunflower, we'd find that the amount of spirals adds up to a Fibonacci number. In fact, a great many plants, including Romanesco broccoli, produce petals, leaves, and seeds in the Fibonacci sequence, which is why it's so hard to find a four-leaf clover. Counting spirals on sunflowers can be difficult. So if you want to test this principle yourself, try counting the spirals on bigger things like pine cones, pineapples, and artichokes. But why do sunflowers and other plants abide by mathematical rules? Like the hexagonal patterns in a beehive, it's all a matter of efficiency. For the sake of not getting too technical, suffice it to say that a sunflower can pack in the most seeds if each seed is separated by an angle that's an irrational number. As it turns out, the most irrational number is something known as the golden ratio, or phi, and it just so happens that if we divide any Fibonacci or Lucas number by the preceding number in the sequence we get a number close to phi. So, for any plant following the Fibonacci sequence, there should be an angle that corresponds to phi, the golden angle, between each seed, leaf, petal, or branch. Number 2. Nautilus Shell. In addition to plants, some animals, like the nautilus, exhibit Fibonacci numbers. For instance, the shell of a nautilus is grown in a Fibonacci spiral. The spiral occurs because of the shell's attempt to maintain the same proportional shape as it grows outward. In the case of the nautilus, this growth pattern allows it to maintain the same shape throughout its whole life, unlike humans, whose bodies change proportion as they age. As is often the case, there are exceptions to the rule, so not every nautilus shell makes a Fibonacci spiral. But they all adhere to some type of logarithmic spiral. And before you start thinking that these cephalopods could have kicked your butt in math class, 
remember that they're not consciously aware of how their shells are growing and are simply benefiting from an evolutionary design that lets the mollusk grow without changing shape. Number 1 Webs There are around 5,000 types of orb web spiders, and all create nearly perfect circular webs with almost equidistant radial supports coming out of the middle and a spiral woven to catch prey. Scientists aren't entirely sure why orb spiders are so geometry inclined since tests have shown that orb webs don't ensnare food any better than irregularly shaped webs. Some scientists theorize that the orb webs are built for strength, and the radial symmetry helps to evenly distribute the force of impact when prey hits the web, resulting in less rips in the thread. But the question remains, if it really is a better web design, then why aren't all spiders utilizing it? Some non-orb spiders seem to have the capacity, and just don't seem to be bothered. 